Today's the middle of the rains. We're halfway through the three months. And it's a good time to reflect what determinations you made, what vows you made at the beginning of the rains. How are they going? If you're having trouble keeping up, well, you've got the rest of the rains to accelerate your efforts, to make sure you hold on to your determination. If you find that the determination is getting easy, maybe it's time to step it up a bit. Look at your precepts, look at your generosity, look at your meditation. Where is it getting easy? Where you can make it harder for yourself? Because that's the whole point of making vows, is to stretch yourself. If you don't stretch yourself, the vow is, is pretty useless. You're trying to learn new things, so it's going to be necessary to take on some hard things, particularly with your precepts. You want to make sure that you're really strict with your precepts, because these form the foundation for everything else. It's in following the precepts that you develop qualities like mindfulness, alertness, ardency. You have to be mindful to keep the precept in mind, alert to watch what you're doing, and ardent to try to do things well. They also teach you to be very careful about your intentions, because the precepts can be broken only intentionally. And we're talking about the five and the eight precepts. So you have to be very careful about what you mean to do when you do something, what you mean when you say something, what you mean when you think something. What do you hope to get out of this? Because that develops your discernment as you start thinking about the long-term consequences of your actions. So you don't just do what you want and then make excuses for it. You look at the actual, actual results, and this way you grow. Because we can learn things from the books, we can learn things from thinking about them, but it's in the actual practice that we learn the Dharma and we learn its meaning. Sometimes we think we can just explain the words and that gets you the meaning, but the real meaning is making a change in your mind, lifting the quality of your mind, raising the quality of your mind. Some people don't like that idea. They, they think their minds are perfectly fine. But they ask yourself, is there still any stress in your life, still some suffering? Someone once asked me, why do Buddhists talk about suffering so much? He said he didn't suffer in his life. Well, I asked him if he had any stress. He said, oh, yeah, lots of stress. That's what we're talking about. And the stress doesn't come from outside, it comes from inside. You've got to look into that. As long as there's still stress in your mind, that's a sign that something still needs to be done. So take this opportunity at the halfway checkpoint to see if it's time to accelerate your efforts even more. As for the determinations you've made and you're struggling with them, okay, well, keep up the struggle. Keep on trying to figure out why it is that it's hard. Other people can observe the precepts, other people can meditate. You have to tell yourself, they can do it, they're human beings, I'm a human being, I can do it too. That has to be your attitude. And whatever problems you're facing, someone else has faced in the past and has gone past them. So there must be a way around the problem. So look for it. Have the confidence that it's there. And have the confidence that you can find it. And it's in that way that this convention we have in the, the rains retreat, even though there's no rain, we had just a little sprinkle about a month ago. But it is time to accelerate our efforts. They've been doing this for over 2,500 years. It's a good tradition, so keep it up and benefit from it. That's how we live wisely in the world.